Hey, welcome to the Sanders Kitchen. I'm Mike. Today we're going to be doing some stuffed mushrooms. We're going to be stuffing them with our good Rockefeller sauce, which includes some onion and garlic and baby spinach. We're going to have some cream and some, per not perno, but herb saint, and uh, put a little nutmeg. Going to have some breadcrumb. Hey, it's going to be good. Watch how I do this. It's really simple and it's a great recipe. We have these beautiful mushrooms here and what we need to do is pop the stem out and if, if the stem doesn't all come out, you want to take a little spoon and just dig out some of the, the center because this is where the stuffing's going to go and you want that hole to be able to accept the stuffing and that's what we're doing right now. So any of the stems that come off of the mushrooms, we're gonna keep that off to the side. I'm gonna chop that up and we're gonna add that to the onion and garlic because that's gonna be all a part of the flavor for the Rockefeller sauce. I'll finish these up and I'll start sauteing the veggies. Turn that fire up high. And let me go ahead and get this in here. Garlic and the onions going right in the skillet. When that gets nice and hot, I'm gonna add in all of the mushroom stems. I'm also gonna add in about a tablespoon and a half of butter. We're gonna be adding some Parmesan cheese later, so I don't wanna oversalt it. Okay, we're just gonna let that cook down a little bit. In the meantime, go ahead and cut up my spinach. And as you know, spinach shrinks when you heat it, so we have to get a few handfuls. Okay, so we want to chop the spinach. All right, let me put my little first batch in there. All righty, looking good. Now I can tell I need another handful. So let me go ahead and grab another big handful of the spinach. And that's about all I'm going to use right there because we don't have that many mushrooms to do. But believe me, it is so good you can just put that on your plate and eat it like that. And it doesn't take long to cut that up, see? So let's go ahead and get some more spinach in here. Mix that up. Okay, next thing we're going to do is put in this herb saint. Boy, does that taste good. Yum. Go ahead and just put in a little cream. We're just gonna let it simmer because we want the uh, spinach to cook down nicely and all the stems and the onions and garlic. So we're not gonna rush it. We're just gonna let it saute for a few minutes on a kind of a medium heat. You can always add in a little bit more cream if you think you need it. All right. I'm going to let that cook down for a little while. In the meantime, I'm going to just throw in a little nutmeg. Doesn't take much. A few sprinkles of nutmeg. Okay. Just going to turn my fire down a little bit and we'll just let that simmer. Be right back. Man, this was looking so good. All right, everything is sauteed down, all the spinach, the onions, and garlic, and everything. It looks good. And it tastes good, too. Put a little salt and pepper in it. And uh, that was before I turned the camera back on. But now I'm going to add in maybe about a, a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Because you got to have some Parmesan cheese 
in your Rockefeller sauce. We'll just keep mixing that up until the Parmesan cheese is completely incorporated in. That's good enough. And then we'll add in some, some breadcrumb. We're just gonna do a little bit at a time and then mix it up. It's gonna have to look like a, a stuffing. Okay. Like that. That's how it's supposed to look. It's coming together nicely. A little bit more. A little bit more breadcrumb. So when you're making this, just you know, kind of gauge it by how it looks. Uh, you don't really have to have a complete recipe. I think it's better to know what it looks like and learn how to cook it like that. Okay, so now I can see that the bread is absorbed in and it's coming together nicely and I'm gonna turn the fire off and I think we're done. Okay, I'm just gonna let it cool, clear off the counter a little bit before we start stuffing the mushrooms. I'm gonna go ahead and stuff a few of these now. Okay, just get a nice big spoon, full of my stuffing, stick it down in a hole. Can you see that? And then pile some up on top like this. Mash it down in there. Like that. Okay. okay. Let me do one more. Put it right in there like that. Push the stuffing down in the hole. And take a little bit more and pile it up on top and just kind of feather it off with your spoon as you turn it. And look how pretty that is. Finish off the rest of these, and we're gonna top them with some Parmesan cheese, maybe a little melted butter, and we'll put them in the oven and bake them for about 20 minutes. I'll finish these up and let you see what they look like when I'm done. So I melted some butter just going to coat the tops of each mushroom with some melted butter and then uh, we'll go ahead and put a little bit of breadcrumb and this is some Italian breadcrumb on top like this and uh, Now, you can even go ahead and, and put a little Parmesan cheese right on top. Just sprinkle that lightly. It's all going to be good. We're going to take these and put them in a 400 degree oven for 20 minutes. And these babies are going to be delish. Can't wait to show you. Four hundred degrees, twenty minutes, and the mushrooms were done. They came out. They were more. They were beautiful, but they were scorching hot. So I had to wait a little while before I could show you, you know, how good they taste, right? So here we are, right here. I'm gonna take one and put it on my plate. I already had a half of one because I had to try it, right? It was delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a cut. Look how tender, man, that thing is so tender, it's unbelievable. And here we go. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Oh my. Mmm. That Rockefeller sauce rocks. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, I'm telling you. 
do you know I use that whole 16 ounce container of spinach in here? Unbelievable. Boy, that is some good. Mmm. 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 Man, all those flavors are just perfect. The mushrooms are tender. Mmm. Oh my God. I just don't know how they could be any better than that. So, let me just say this. Thank you all for tuning in, watching our video. If you like our video on these stuffed mushrooms, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And if you have, we love you. And keep coming back, man. Look, sometimes we don't get them out every week, but you know, that's because we have other things going on. But what's okay? We will be here. Go get you some stuffed mushrooms. Remember, all the ingredients and the, uh, and the instructions will be in the description. You're gonna love this. Go make you some stuffed mushrooms with the Rockefeller sauce. Woo, talk about good. Hey, have a great week and God bless you.